Right now on Weekend Mornings, details on how Madison police are taking steps today to keep people safe at the annual Mifflin Street Block Party. Plus, flooding continues on the Mississippi River, what state and local officials are saying. And some are waking up to some rain, others cloudy and breezy conditions and we have a system that's impacting the area this weekend. I'll time out when we'll see additional precipitation as well as when we might see some snow. Good morning, thanks for joining us on Weekend Mornings. I'm Kyle Pazorski, joined by Greg Barnhart. And Greg, you know, looking outside this morning, it seems like it's a day that you should stay inside, maybe, you know, do some board games or maybe even knit, Stream a, movies. knit a scarf for the snow coming. Well, it's definitely going to be not the greatest weekend, unfortunately. Um, today won't be as terrible, but tomorrow it'll even be worse. But right now we have basically a front kind of pushing eastward, that cold front. So there's a line of showers with it and ahead of it. But behind it, actually, everything rotating around the low that's over almost to Green Bay. It's kind of drier air, so we don't see much activity as you go further west of Madison. And I think that'll be the trend here for areas this morning to about noon. You see temperatures right now really in the low to mid-40s area-wide, upper 30s to go towards Rochester. But the precipitation really is now east of Madison. Future track shows that with more showers developing later as the colder air starts digging south over uh, eastern Iowa, and eventually after this time, we'll probably start seeing more come in the afternoon. Winds will pick up today with that northwest wind that's behind the front. As you'll time out those showers, a few more this afternoon for lacrosse. I think more tonight, but it'll be cool, windy today, breezy with those northwest winds. Madison, once the showers pass, which they're doing it right now, we'll have a dry period with a few showers maybe between like 4 and 7 p.m. when we get about 50 degrees. Otherwise, I think more of the area will see that later tonight. So later in the broadcast, we'll time out what we expect tonight and especially going in tomorrow with the snow. We do dry out a little bit by next week. And the good news with the rivers, we are going to explain, but they are all starting to fall. And I'll explain all that a bit, a bit later in the broadcast. Well, thank you so much, Greg. We'll check back in in a bit. It's a, it's a tradition for many UW students attending the annual Mifflin Street Block Party, except for today. Ahead of the unsanctioned event, though, students we talked with are looking forward to a good time to celebrate the upcoming end of the semester. Our Madison police are saying they just want everyone to stay safe. Nicole Herzog explains. There's a particular song that we're fond of here at UW. I'm kind of fond of it myself but um, that gives officers something to think about. Last year's Mifflin Street block party saw a porch collapse and other damage to homes in the area. That's why the city's building inspectors are asking people to err on the side of caution on Saturday. When you have a lot of people crowded on a balcony that might all be jumping and dancing to the same song, you're creating a load that is not necessarily designed or intended to be supported by that structure. The city's building inspection staff found 27 property violations in March as part of an annual inspection to prepare for the event. Since then, the building inspection director says almost all of those issues, like uneven steps and debris, have been resolved. But they can't check the entire property, only what they can see from sidewalks. We really encourage people to use caution. We want the landlords and the property owners to uh, work with their tenants to be responsible about the use of these spaces because these tend to be our most unsafe situations that we get involved with. Police also went door to door on Mifflin Street during the past few months to talk best safety practices with those who live there and held a meeting with landlords and students to discuss property damage. I mean, I don't think that that's a, that's a thing that students should be worried about. I think the landlords should be really worried about that and how you know they treat the properties around here. What are students supposed to do you know, about reinforcing a, a structure as old as some of the houses here. For News 3 Now, I'm Nicole Herzog. The Building Inspection Department and the Madison Police and Fire Departments will be in the area for any immediate incidents. The city's housing inspectors will do a follow-up next weekend to check for any further damage. Cleanup efforts continued yesterday near DeSoto after a freight train derailed Thursday, sending trains off the tracks and two into the Mississippi River. Governor Evers visited the site meeting with local and state officials working with BNSF on removing the train cars. BNSF confirmed that 10 cars derailed. That's after 20 were initially said to be involved. The train was carrying lithium ion batteries, oxygen tanks and paint, but all those hazardous materials were contained and did not enter the river. The governor shared he was proud to see the strong local response. They live here, they've got jobs, they're doing, you know, they're going about their regular life, but they've also been trained to take care of things like this, and that's exactly what happened. So I think people should be very proud of what's, how the response has been. On it. Rocks are now being brought in by a nearby quarry to build a platform that will help in the removal of the train cars. BNSF will be responsible for all cleanup costs. 
Four people did suffer minor injuries. A cause of the derailment remains under investigation. More communities along the Mississippi River are trying to stay afloat as the flooding continues. This drone video is from Davenport, Iowa, where the river isn't expected to crest until Monday. The river has already crested in some towns in western Wisconsin, like La Crosse, but it is still will be days before it begins to fall in some areas to the south. Fresh produce stands were seen Friday at Henderson Elementary's end of the school year carnival. Second Harvest Food Bank of Southern Wisconsin had representatives at the carnival distributing the fresh fruits and vegetables. The food bank hopes to destigmatize families needing to use food banks and pantries and other distribution programs for access to healthy foods. The, you know, the younger we can work with kids on understanding that um, nutritious food is important to everybody and should be accessible to everybody is great and, and working with elementary schools gives us that opportunity. Henderson Elementary has an indoor market accessible to school families at all times and does an outdoor market twice a month for the entire community. People experiencing homelessness with pets not only have to worry about caring for themselves, but also their animals. A nonprofit made that a little bit easier Friday afternoon at Madison's Warner Park. Physical exams, vaccines, flea, tick, and heartworm tests were available to the pets of people experiencing homelessness. Best of yet, it was all done for free. This pop-up vet clinic is made possible by the Madison chapter of the Street Dog Coalition, a national nonprofit dedicated to providing free medical care to pets of people experiencing or are at risk of homelessness. Four clinics are scheduled throughout the year, all taking place at Warner Park. The next one is scheduled for Friday, June 30th. The Army is grounding its pilots for all non-critical missions until they complete a mandatory safety program in wake of a, serious, a series of deadly helicopter crashes, including one Friday morning in Alaska. Three soldiers died when two Army helicopters collided while returning from a training flight. Late last month, nine others were killed in a training exercise involving two helicopters at Fort Campbell in Kentucky. The suspension of air operations is effective immediately. All active duty aviators must complete a 24-hour stand down and training by next Friday. And check this out. A Mount Horb resident captured footage of a black bear wandering through their neighborhood. It was recorded just after 10 o'clock Thursday night on North 8th Street. There are an estimated 2,500 black bears in Wisconsin, with the majority of which stay in forested areas in the north and central parts of the state. But some are de deviating from that group, according to the state DNR, and that's even more true for younger cubs awakening from hibernation in search of food. You know, they don't have Google Maps. They don't necessarily know where they're going. So sometimes as they're following their nose, you know, one will wander through a backyard or wander through town. Uh, and, and typically it's it's no cause for alarm. Experts say seeing black bears shouldn't be a cause for concern as attacks are rare. There are things you can do to keep them off your property though. Some measures you can take include keeping your trash secure and clean, not leaving pet food out, and keeping bird feeders out of reach or taking them down entirely. A huge plume of dark smoke was seen rising in the Crimean port of Sevestpol this morning. The Russians claim it came from a Ukrainian drone attack. Sveshpul, which is on the Crimean Peninsula that Russia annexed from, on, from Ukraine in 2014, has come under repeated air attacks since Russia sent troops into Ukraine last February. Russian officials have blamed the attacks on, a Ukraine, on Ukraine. Previously on Monday, the Russian Defense Ministry said it repelled an attack by naval drones on its Black Sea fleet stationed in Sevestpol in the early hours of the day. And turning now to another developing story, thousands of U.S. citizens are still believed to be in Sudan amid unrest there, with the U.S. State Department saying it's helping Americans evacuate. CBS News Di Dina Demetrius gives us a look at the evacuation efforts underway. Drone video shows black smoke rising over a suburb of Sudan's capital, evidence of ongoing violence despite a truce between two warring generals. An estimated 16,000 U.S. nationals are living in Sudan. The State Department says it is doing everything it can to help those hoping to leave. So far, fewer than 5,000 U.S. citizens have requested additional information from us. Of those, only a fraction have actively sought our assistance to depart Sudan. Last week, 
weekend, the Navy's SEAL Team 6 helped airlift nearly 90 people out of the U.S. Embassy. Countries around the world are pulling their citizens out of Sudan. We cannot guarantee travelers' safety, nor can we guarantee how long these departure options will be available. The International Committee of the Red Cross is warning of a humanitarian crisis, with hospitals short on staff and medicine. We estimate about close to 50,000 children who were being treated for malnutrition, who don't have access to that treatment. But amid the devastation, a spark of positive energy. This baby boy was born in a car with the help of three hospital volunteers. The parents named him Mutansir, which means victorious. Dina Demetrius, CBS News. Still to come this morning, details on a new report about how playing an instrument could help seniors. And you're taking a live look outside. Greg has another look at your forecast just ahead. Channel 3000 Plus. Watch from your streaming media player or mobile device. Dear Exit Strategy, all your pieces are in place. Thanks for being there when I need you most. Always Toyota SUVs. Toyota. Let's go places. Can the flavor of a slow-cooked smoked sausage be so gloriously delicious that the sight of it sizzling makes your taste buds weep? If it's Hillshire Farm, oh, hell yeah. Backyard living season is here. Coolview has great solutions to beat the backyard blues and save 15 to 25 percent. Cover your deck with a screen porch, an enclosed porch, or sunroom. If you have a screen porch, let us turn it into an enclosed porch. Shade your patio with a pergola or awning. All on sale now. Let Coolview show you how to tame your backyard blues. Call now for a quote before the sun sets on savings. Get a new view from Coolview. All right, team. We got a big project coming up. And it all starts with ordering promotional products. I'm on it. 4imprint makes it easy to get the logo products you're looking for. The latest in apparel, drinkware, bags, high-tech items, and more. You can be certain of getting it right at 4imprint.com. Come on out. I'm on it. 4imprint for certain. Create your perfect room for entertaining, relaxing, and more with patio enclosures. Right now, get 25% off your sunroom. Plus, enjoy exceptional financing. Call today. Patio enclosures. No more suffering from chronic nagging joint pain. The hope for relief is here at QC Kinetics. No surgery or steroids. Nothing beats giving people their quality of life back. And that's what we do here at QC Kinetics every day. Regenerative treatments provide long-term results by addressing the root cause of pain right in the office. Call for your complimentary consultation today. QC Kinetics. Finally, hope for relief. Dear Exit Strategy, all your pieces are in place. Thanks for being there when I need you most. Always Toyota SUVs. Toyota. Let's go places. News 3 Now First Worn Weather is brought to you by Lazy Boy Home Furnishings and Decor. Discover a shopping and design experience as comfortable as the furniture. Lazy Boy Home Furnishings and Decor. Schedule your free design consultation today. Yeah, the good news with the Mississippi is at least the northern gauges right now are starting to slowly fall, and that should be the trend here. Even with the precipitation that we do pick up with the system right now, really won't make an impact. But overall, we're down basically just lacrosse is hanging on to moderate barely. Everyone else is moderate or even minor. You see, there's the crests that would have occurred and they're all beginning to fall too. So they should be below flood stage here probably about a week, but nothing to be alarmed of. That's the good news. Next half hour, I'll show you what the southern gauges are doing right now. The low right now that's sitting over our head right now is actually beginning to lift, and it's going to sit and just rotate around and really become our factor for the weather for the next probably three days, maybe even four days until it starts to move. Fortunately, that means cold northwest winds, 
on and off showers, even snow at this system too. Similar like we had just a week and a half ago with a, another low that was sitting overhead. We had the front come through right now with the showers ahead of it. That'll clear the area for late this morning. And now most areas will stay kind of breezy, cloudy for, the, for basically the morning into the afternoon until we start seeing a few more showers pop up, especially west into eastern Iowa, kind of where the cold air is starting to push across. That may expand eastward into the area as we get into the afternoon, but a lot of areas, probably Madison East, won't see a lot of showers hours until we get to like four or five. This will be spotty from Eau Claire down to La Crosse and Prairie du Chien. As we get into the evening, that'll increase up to the north because the wave will kind of rotate back down and then it's going to dig south, approaching Eau Claire first, and then it'll actually expand into an area that's more just light rain and eventually light snow as we get later tonight. You'll see that begin to dip south, probably reaching Eau Claire after midnight. Lacrosse a little bit a few hours later, probably close to about two or three. And then Madison, more like after 536, we'll see just an area of light snow or snow showers and mixing with rain at times for many of the area. This will probably go on for the morning hour. No accumulation down here in southern Wisconsin expected or even central. If you notice, these temperatures will be mid-30s, so the snow rate won't be too much. But grassy areas up to the north could pick up a little bit up to I-9094. Eventually, as we warm up a little bit, this will begin to transition to rain in the afternoon. Still chilly, just barely in the 40s with that strong north wind, so it'll be a cold day. And eventually, once we get towards this uh, afternoon, excuse me, Sunday afternoon or evening, you'll start to see it lighten up to some areas of light rain or light snow, and that'll continue overnight. But I think Sunday night won't be as wet as we saw Sunday. But notice the winds still, strong winds overnight towers too. So that's what we're looking at for snowfall. Really not much until you get up to about I-9094 area further north like that, but still we could see some, some grassy areas pick up maybe a half inch to an inch north of La Crosse. There is a winter weather advisory further north to Nor uh, Rhinelander where they could pick up two to six inches, but everyone else shouldn't see much in the way of that. Otherwise, we're looking at for this next week, these cool conditions continue for Tuesday. Not much change, but we do see more change coming towards the later half of the week. We'll probably get back in the 60s, a few showers, maybe even 70, as now we're in the first week of May. So that's the good news. Unfortunately, the week starts off pretty cold. Get it back up to the mid-50s by Tuesday for both locations. Getting back to 60, maybe 70 by midweek with the weak system coming through. That'll cool us off temporarily. But next weekend for both locations look much better. 15 degrees above what we are and probably no precipitation as of right now. Thank you so much, Greg. We'll check back in in just a little bit. A middle school student from Michigan is being called a hero. He was riding the school bus home Wednesday when the driver suffered a medical emergency and passed out. As you see right here, seventh grader Dylan Reeves grabs the steering wheel and uses his foot to stomp on the brake. The school district says the driver became lightheaded and lost consciousness. After bringing the bus to a stop, Reeves directed students on board to call 911 for help. This was an extraordinary act of courage and maturity on his part. He jumped up from his seat, threw his backpack down, ran to the front of the bus, grabbed the steering wheel, and brought the bus to a stop in the middle of the road. No one was hurt, and the bus driver is recovering in the hospital. Reeves' parents say they're proud of their son, who they say is a quiet and shy kid who sticks to himself. A new report shows how playing an instrument can help seniors and a new drug could combat obesity. Bradley Blackburn has that and more in this week's MedWeek report. New findings show a diabetes drug being tested for weight loss is showing promise. Eli Lilly reported that in their study, tirzepatide helped overweight and obese diabetics lose up to 16% of their body weight over 17 months. People without diabetes lost even more weight. The company is applying for fast-track approval from the FDA. The diabetes drug Ozempic has been making headlines recently as many Americans are using the drug off-label for weight loss. Young children with common ear, nose, and throat issues may be at higher risk of developing autism. Those are the findings of a study published in the British Medical Journal, which looked at more than 10,000 children. Those who experienced autistic traits had issues like mouth breathing, snoring, ear pulling, and poor listening skills. Sleep apnea was also closely linked to an autism diagnosis. And new evidence that playing music keeps your brain sharp. Researchers in China found older musicians outperformed their non-musician peers and were even at the same level as younger non-musicians when it came to certain brain functions. Researchers say playing music makes older adults better listeners by preserving youthful neural patterns. Those are some of the week's top health stories. Bradley Blackburn, CBS News, New York. 
Still to come, 34% of Wisconsin households had trouble affording basic necessities at the height of the pandemic. Details on a new report. Plus, there's several new shows and movies to check out this weekend. Our Will Loper shares his picks in Three Things to Watch. That's all coming up on Weekend Mornings. At JR's Mulch Sales, mulch is all we do, which is why we do it better. We deliver 10 varieties of mulch seven days a week, right to your door. Call us today. JR's Mulch Sales is spreading around. Have you ever experienced this view? Hi, Andrew Larson here. With Gutter Shutter, you'll never have to experience it again. Please give up this dangerous chore and protect your home's foundation with Gutter Shutter, the strongest, most durable, maintenance-free gutter on the market. Over the past 15 years, my team has installed thousands of maintenance-free gutter systems across South Central Wisconsin. We'd love to come out and show you what Gutter Shutter can do for you and your home, but most importantly, keep you safe and off that ladder. So call today for a free estimate. This is how legends are made. Chevy Silverado, a new Silverado HD. Choose your own path with the number one best-selling retail full-size pickup and see where it takes you. Find new roads. It's Chevy truck season. Get 0% financing plus make no monthly payments for 90 days on all 2023 Silverado 1500 pickups or current Chevy owners get 37.50 total cash allowance on all 2023 Silverado pickups with a turbo high open engine. Find new roads at your local Chevy dealer. Leisure Concepts has your new hot tub in stock and ready for immediate delivery. Steel and composite construction and the perimeter insulation is so quiet. We'll deliver everything you need to easily keep your hot tub crystal clear, including knowledge. That neck deep hot water massage feels amazing every day of the year. You'll never get tired of it. Get to Leisure Concepts and see almost 70 hot tubs that are ready for immediate delivery to your backyard. As a veteran of our country's armed services, you have already made the ultimate sacrifice. Through no fault of your own, you may be experiencing hardships, such as the inability to pay rent, utilities, or receive other life-sustaining services. The Veterans Rental Assistance Program was created by and for people living in Wisconsin. No Wisconsin veteran should ever have to face homelessness or lose heat, power, or water again. Are we still on for three? I'm on the phone. When your team needs more space to work and eat. Carl, is that mackerel? No, it's a trout. <laughs> it matters where you stay. Fish tacos? Carl. Hilton for the stay. Team, I need a volunteer. We need promotional products. I'm on it. 4imprint makes promotional product success easy. For high quality items, go to 4imprint.com. 4imprint for certain. At JR's Mulch Sales, mulch is all we do, which is why we do it better. We deliver 10 varieties of mulch seven days a week, right to your door. Call us today. JR's Mulch Sales, spread it around. Yeah, we still have that line of showers that's actually pushing east of Madison right now behind the cold front. But behind that, we just have cloudy and breezy conditions and overall low to mid 40s. Won't see a lot of precipitation here probably for the next few hours. Not until really afternoon you get a little more scattered showers and that's really for eastern Iowa into western Wisconsin. So just hit and miss. So a lot of it areas will be dry probably through the afternoon. It just won't feel as warm obviously as we had yesterday. So that's the conditions. More snow potentially for tonight. Even accumulation is possible north of I-90 or 94 more seasonable conditions by the time we get to next week. As you look at your 10-day temperatures, we bottom out tomorrow mid-40s. We should be about the low to mid-60s. Eventually, we'll get there Wednesday or Thursday. A little weak system comes through that'll knock them down a little bit, and then probably by next weekend, we could be approaching 70, so much better weekend in store. Same story for lacrosse, mid-40s. They may hit 70 once, and then they'll do the same type of trend, too, looking at a very nice weekend potentially setting up for next weekend. From a new season about a boy who is half human, half deer, to a new spin on the classic Disney movie, our Will Loper shares a few of the best in this weekend's Three Things to Watch. Do you understand what's happening out there? It's a war. We are fighting extinction and we are losing. Newly streaming on Netflix is the second season of Sweet Tooth. The cure, it requires a somewhat... 
conventional ingredient. Not afraid of you. The show continues the story of Gus, the half-human, half-deer boy, out to save other hybrids. No matter how fast or far you run, no place will be safe. episode of Sweet Tooth Season 2 is streaming on Netflix now. Promise is a promise. Eight years ago, you two were Citadel's top spies, but we were double-crossed by one of our own, and your memories were erased. Newly streaming on Amazon Prime Video is the series Citadel. I brought you here because I need your help. I coached Little Lee. There's my guy. Priyanka Chopra Jonas and Richard Madden star as spies who had their memories wiped, brought back for one more job. Whoever betrayed us is ready for something cataclysmic. Are we together? Don't flatter yourself. The first two episodes of Citadel are streaming on Amazon Prime Video now. You told me to trust you. Why would you trust me? I'm exceedingly untrustworthy. I'm a spy. I don't want to grow up. I want things to stay the way they are. Can't stop time, Wendy. Whether you like it or not. And newly streaming on Disney Plus is their live action version of Peter Pan and Wendy. I can no! The classic tale gets told once again of the flying boy who doesn't grow up. And flashes with Captain Hook. Played by Jude Law. Everyone hang on! Did you hear that? That is one big... Run! Peter Pan and Wendy is streaming on Disney Plus now. Those are the three things you need to watch, and this is Will Loper for Weekend Mornings. In our next half hour, details on how lawmakers are unveiling legislation that would establish 13 as the minimum age for social media use. Your headlines are next. The price of gold is at a seven-year high. Get top cash on the spot for your gold at Diamond Select. Cash in today while the price of gold is high. Don't miss out. Get instant cash for your gold today at Diamond Select, downtown Stoughton. With Dad's arthritis, he needs extra help around the house, so I called a Grace. Yes, a Grace. With their age at home service, he can stay at home. home. That's where I want to spend these months. <laughs> with hospice care from a Grace, I can stay home with my dog and my grandkids and their laughter. laughter. I had no <laughs> idea laughter could be a part of my life again after Joe died, but through a Grace, I found hope and healing. A Grace, caring every step of the way. Join the Circle of Life at The Lion King. Experience the world's number one musical. Don't miss your chance to see The Lion King, one of the most awe-inspiring productions ever brought to life on stage. Coming to Overture Center May 11th through 28th. Tickets on sale now at overture.org. Backyard living season is here. CoolView has great solutions to beat the backyard blues and save 15 to 25 percent. Cover your deck with a screen porch, an enclosed porch, or sunroom. If you have a screen porch, let us turn it into an enclosed porch. Shade your patio with a pergola or awning. All on sale now. Let CoolView show you how to tame your backyard blues. Call now for a quote before the sun sets on savings. Get a new view from CoolView. Hey team, we got a big project coming up. And it all starts with ordering promotional products. I'm on it. 4imprint makes it easy to get the logo products you're looking for. The latest in apparel, drinkware, bags, high-tech items, and more. You can be certain of getting it right at 4imprint.com. Come on out. I'm on it. 4imprint for certain. 
Okay, I think we're all aware that most cell companies only give you the lowest price when you sign up for multiple lines. What? Multiple lines? Hello? Yeah, uh-huh, one sec. But U.S. Cellular gives you just one line for $29.99 with unlimited data. Just one line with unlimited data. So you don't have to get more lines than you no, need. No, you hang up. Are you even listening, guy who never looks up from his phone? Oh, not for me, I just say. Okay, so no, no, you're not listening. Get one line for $29.99, plus we'll give you an extra $200. U.S. Cellular built for us. At Diamond Select, our on-site goldsmith can create a beautiful one-of-a-kind piece. Whether it's repurposing an old ring or creating from a picture online, we're here to help you create jewelry of your dreams. Diamond Select, downtown Stoke. Right now on weekend mornings, new details on cleanup efforts from a train derailment near DeSoto, which sent trains off the tracks and into the Mississippi River. Also, a new report says a significant percentage of Wisconsin households had trouble affording basic necessities during the pandemic. And we got a cloudy, cold, chilly weekend in store as the system sits over the area. I'll time out when to expect those showers is when we might expect some snow. Good morning and thanks for joining us on Weekend Mornings. Let's send it over to Greg Barnard for a look at your Saturday forecast. Yeah, unfortunately, it's going to be just a really wet weekend, but mainly dry today and then really wet or even snowy tomorrow. The system right now that we're looking at uh, has pushed a line of showers really just the east of Madison. This is the cold front associated with it. The low pressure is up here, so everything's kind of rotating around. But you notice to the west, we don't have much going on quite yet. As temperatures are really in the low 40s, mid 40s, even upper 30s as you go to Eau Claire. So I think most of the area right here, as future track will show, won't see much in the way of shower development again, mainly as we get towards the after early late morning, early afternoon, eastern Iowa, and then I think we'll expand that further this afternoon. But for most of the area this morning, it's going to be cloudy, breezy, definitely chilly than we had yesterday. Temperatures today not going to really budge much, which when we're starting off right now in the mid 40s, we might reach 50 as we get in the afternoon. Briefly, before we come back down, precipitation chances really, once again, we're not going to see much in the way until probably this evening. I think more chances we get towards later for, uh, for La Crosse to get a few showers in the afternoon and a few more to Madison towards this evening. But I think more widespread activity will be more tonight. And that's what we'll kind of time out when to expect that next round of rain tonight and snow potentially could be accumulating in some areas. will dry out next week and I'll also break down how those rivers are falling here a bit later in the broadcast. Thank you, Greg. After a porch collapse during last year's Mifflin Street block party, the city's building inspectors have already found 27 cases of property violations ahead of today's event. To prevent any incidents this year, the city is asking property managers to remind their tenants not to overcrowd those spaces. Inspectors checked houses in the area for any violations back in March and said most of those problems had now been resolved, but added they can't inspect anything on the property only what can be seen from the sidewalks. Many of these aren't designed uh, or intended to occupy uh, with large numbers of people and uh, large loads of stuff. So we, we really encourage people to use caution. We want the landlords and the property owners to uh, work with their tenants to be responsible about the use of these spaces because these tend to be our most unsafe situations that we get involved with. Overcrowding is one of the main concerns that the City of Madison Police Department will be keeping an eye on during the event. The city's building inspection staff will be in the area today for any immediate incidents. They also will do a final review next weekend to look for further damage. Cleanup efforts continued yesterday near DeSoto after a freight train derailed Thursday, sending trains off the track and a couple into the Mississippi River. Governor Evers visited the site meeting with local and state officials working with BNSF on removing the train cars. BNSF confirms that 10 cars derailed. That's after 20 were initially said to be involved. The train was carrying lithium ion batteries, oxygen tanks and paint, but all those hazardous materials were contained and did not enter the river. The governor says he's proud to see a strong local response. They live here. They've got jobs They're doing, you know, they're going about their regular life. But they've also been trained to take care of things like this, and it's exactly what happened. So I think people should be very proud of what's, how the response has been. Rocks are being brought in from nearby quarries to build a platform that will help in the removal of the train cars. BNSF will be responsible for all cleanup costs, and a cause of the derailment remains under investigation. Four people did suffer minor injuries. 
More communities along the Mississippi River are trying to stay afloat as flooding continues. This drone video is from Davenport, Iowa, where the river isn't expected to crest until Monday. It's already crested for some towns in western Wisconsin, but it still will be days before it begins falling in some areas to the south. A bipartisan group of senators is unveiling legislation that would establish 13 as the national minimum age for social media use. The bill also would create strict standards for verifying users' age. The proposed bill also requires parental consent for users ages 13 to 17 and bans tech platforms from using teens' personal information to target them with cons without consent or advertising. Lawmakers say the legislation is in line with guidance from the U.S. Surgeon General, but tech accountability advocates say the bill is focused on the wrong issue. This bill doesn't actually put any responsibility onto the tech companies. Instead, it's putting more responsibility onto parents and young people to kind of self-police. Nicole Gill with the nonprofit Accountable Tech argues laws should incentivize tech companies to redesign their platforms to protect mental health and privacy. A new report shows that 34% of Wisconsin households had trouble affording basic necessities like housing, food, and child care during the height of the pandemic. This statistic was revealed in the state's fourth ALICE report released by United Way of Wisconsin. ALICE stands for Asset Limited Income Constrained Employed. It describes households that are making more than federally, more than the federal poverty level, but less than the state's basic cost of living. Though the report is being released this week, the data reflected within were collected in the heart of the COVID crisis in 2021. We know addressing the needs of Alice families is a priority for racial equity, uh, gender equity, um, as well as a priority for all people who want to live in healthy and thriving communities. In Wisconsin, between 2019 and 2021, the average annual cost of living increased 16% for a single adult, 13% for a single senior, and 11% for a family of four. There's nothing like the feeling of a fresh haircut. In Florida, a community is helping the homeless by offering them for free. Anna McAllister shares this story. There's something about getting a fresh cut that makes a man feel brand new. I don't only feel good, I look good now. But it's the man behind the chair that's been using his clippers to make a difference through his Backpack Barber Foundation. We created this organization in 2018 when I hit the streets with a backpack and some hygiene items to help uplift those that are experiencing homelessness as I once experienced homelessness on and off throughout my childhood into my early adulthood. Greg Young lives in Fort Lauderdale and he's made it his life mission to uplift those who are struggling with addiction and homelessness. Challenges he knows about all too well. I'm battled uh, incarceration over 15 times. And July 7, 2013, I walked into the rooms of Alcoholics Anonymous, and I've been sober ever since. Using his life experiences and his clippers, of course, he goes into the streets of South Florida, offering free haircuts and conversations of hope to those in need. And his work hasn't gone unnoticed. The wall is on a mission to help make the world a bigger place. We're looking for guys with great facial hair, doing good in their communities. For every free trim we do here at the mobile barbershop, Wall will donate $100 to Greg's foundation. More than 50 men received a cut, and Wall gifted a $5,000 check to the Backpack Barber Foundation. When I'm cutting homeless and, and they get up and, and they feel refreshed and they feel brand new, it's a great feeling. When, when you lift somebody up and give them hope and dignity back, it goes a long way. Young says he'll use that money to continue making a difference and has this message to those who are going through challenging times. If nobody today tells you they love you, Greg the Barber loves you, baby. Peace. Stay blessed, y'all. Anna McAllister, CBS News, Fort Lauderdale, Florida. And still ahead, sports director Zach Hanley has details on the 2023 NFL Draft. You're watching, you're watching Weekend Mornings. Dear Exit Strategy, all your pieces are in place. Thanks for being there when I need you most. Always Toyota SUVs. Toyota, let's go places. There are so many things we take for granted. And along with them, sometimes we take the people who depend on them for granted too. How can they survive with record increases in their basic cost of living? And through no fault of their own, they're being left behind. If you or someone you know needs a hand up, 
Our energy and water providers are working together to keep you safely in your home. You may not ask for it, but we're here to help. Looks like they finally got rid of that trip hazard. They pump it full of mud? It ain't mud, Jack. Where are the patched holes? Where's the splashed mud? It ain't mud, Jack. Concrete lifting technologies can quickly raise and level any concrete surface using cutting-edge foam technology made in Wisconsin. Fast and accurate and eco-friendly. How did those guys do it? Where are the holes? Where's the mud? It ain't mud, Jack. Dot com. Shoulders, knees, and toes. self-care from professional massage therapists and estheticians. It's what we do. Massage Envy, where better begins. Team, I need a volunteer. We need promotional products. I'm on it. 4imprint makes promotional product success easy. For high quality items, go to 4imprint.com. 4imprint, for certain. Create your perfect room for entertaining, relaxing, and more with patio enclosures. Right now, get 25% off your sunroom. Plus, enjoy exceptional financing. Call today. Patio enclosures. Dear Exit Strategy, all your pieces are in place. Thanks for being there when I need you most. Always Toyota SUVs. Toyota. Let's go places. Show us your weather photos, and you could win a First Warren weather umbrella. Send us your weather pics in an email or on the First Warren weather app. We'll select and showcase the winning entries each day on News 3 Now This Morning and News 3 Now at 6. Send in your pics to win a First Warren weather umbrella today. A 106-year-old masterpiece. The detail in this building is hard to grasp. What would it cost to replace our iconic state capitol? Learn why the number I discovered is just the beginning. The Price of Perfection, Thursday at 6. Yeah, we got this system that's coming through here. The front has uh, pushed east, so really the precipitation that we were looking through this morning kind of has tapered off for most areas. We have a few showers out there, but really it's pretty quiet, which is cloud cover, and the winds are starting to come pick up from the northeast. So that's what we're going to see really pretty much for this morning as we go on through the day. A few showers picking up for La Crosse and Westford probably this afternoon towards 4 p.m. or so with 50 degrees, and those northwest winds continuing from 10 to 15. For Madison, the rain has passed. I think we'll be really just cloudy and breezy conditions for most of the day. A shower chance pops up probably after 4 to 7 p.m. with better rainfall tonight as expected with could be turning to snow. There's your normals that we're expecting as we go into the first day of May and see we're getting to the low 70s by the end of the month for both uh, Madison and La Crosse and we've actually have hit the 100 degree mark towards the uh, end of the month too. So that's what we're expecting. Unfortunately, we're not going to start off that very warm for May, but there is some hope and I'll break down how we go cool, get back to near normal temperatures by middle at the end of the next week, a bit later in the broadcast. The top-ranked center in the draft didn't have to wait very long to hear his name called on day two. Joe Tipman was selected by the Jets with the 12th pick in the second round, becoming the highest-drafted Badger since JT went 41st overall in 2020. Six picks later, another Badger was off the board. The Steelers took Keanu Benton 49th overall. It was the first time a pair of Badgers were taken in the second round since 1995. The Janesville Craig product set career highs in tackles, TFLs, and sacks last season. The Packers win offense in round two, taking tight end Luke Musgrove, Musgrave from Oregon State with their first pick in the second round, and then fouled that up with Jaden Reed, a wideout for Michigan State, eight picks later. Leroy Butler said it best when announcing the pick, saying, quote, Jordan Love, we got some help for you. Then in the third round, Green Bay drafted tight end Tucker Kraft from South Dakota State. For the 12th time in the last 13 years, the Packers selected a defensive player in the first round a couple days ago, and this time they picked up Hercules. At 6'5", 275 pounds, Lucas Van Ness just looks like a Greek god. And on the field, the Iowa defensive end lives up to it, throwing opposing quarterbacks around with his superhuman strength. And you could say the newest member of the Packers, big fan of that nickname. Honestly, I think it's uh, you know very fitting and 
you know, I think it kind of gives me uh, someone, you know, to idolize. And, uh, you know, it makes me laugh sometimes when people call me that. But, you know, it's something that started between uh, some of my teammates uh, kind of mentioned my, my physique and my body. Um, and I've always, you know, paid a lot of attention to my body health and the weight room. I love to work out. Um, so, honestly, it's, uh, it's a cool nickname. I could, uh, it could be worse. The Brewers and the Cheese Man hosting the Angels this weekend. Tied at one in the eighth inning, and Rowdy Telez rips one down the first base line to bring home the game-winning run. The Brewers beat the Halos 2-1 to one, the final. And that's it for Morning Sports. Have a great day. Well, still ahead, an update on last week's loon fallout, and we're taking a live look outside. Greg is back right after the break. Sponsored by Three Bears Resort, Indoor Water Park and Conference Center in Warrens, Wisconsin. Introducing Belly's Flowers' new seasonal planter program, a perfect gift idea for your loved ones, available for your home or business. Enjoy a custom-made planter delivered to your door three times a year. Growing for Madison since 1949. Place your order today at Belly's Flowers. There are moments in life, special moments, Moments to share. Moments to celebrate. Share the love. Celebrate the moment. Diamond Select, downtown Stoughton. Make a move in the most electrifying Honda vehicles yet. Like the CRV and Accord, with available hybrid powertrains designed for more responsive performance Get up and, go. and more advanced tech. When you drive a Honda, you're driving with the 2022 Kelly Blue Book's KBB.com Best Value brand. Get moving and find the Honda for you. Buy online, reserve from select dealers, or visit your local Honda dealer today. Backyard living season is here. CoolView has great solutions to beat the backyard blues and save 15 to 25 percent. Cover your deck with a screen porch, an enclosed porch, or sunroom. If you have a screen porch, let us turn it into an enclosed porch. Shade your patio with a pergola or awning. All on sale now. Let CoolView show you how to tame your backyard blues. Call now for a quote before the sun sets on savings. Get a new view from CoolView. Hey team, we got a big project coming up. And it all starts with ordering promotional products. I'm on it. Four Imprint makes it easy to get the logo products you're looking for. The latest in apparel, drinkware, bags, high-tech items, and more. You can be certain of getting it right at 4imprint.com. Come on out. I'm on it. Four Imprint for certain. Introducing Belly's Flowers' new seasonal planter program, a perfect gift idea for your loved ones, available for your home or business. Enjoy a custom-made planter delivered to your door three times a year. Growing for Madison since 1949. Place your order today at Belly's Flowers. News 3 Now First Worn Weather is brought to you by Lazy Boy Home Furnishings and Decor. Discover a shopping and design experience as comfortable as the furniture. Lazy Boy Home Furnishings and Decor. Schedule your free design consultation today. Last half hour, we looked at the northern gauges. Now we'll look at kind of the southern gauges where the crest is just starting to occur or just has occurred. So you look at all these locations from Dubuque all the way down up to about Vernon County. We've topped up about 21 or 22 right now for feet, but right now we are cresting or just starting to slowly fall. So I think that'll be the trend through this weekend, kind of steady, and then the fall will start to come a little bit quicker as we get into next week. Good news, any precipitation that we get with the system right now will not affect really the river levels right now. The low that's really just to the northeast is just going to turn and rotate back around pretty much all the way through Monday. And it's going to keep our weather really to breezy, windy, chilly with off and on rain showers coming through, even snow. So unfortunately, we're stuck with this for at least through Monday, maybe even Tuesday until we see some slight improvements. The good news, at least for today, right now, the morning, so it's going to be cloudy and breezy as the main batch of showers at the front has pushed east. 
Shower activity won't start really picking up until we get to the late afternoon, really in eastern Iowa by late to, by noon, and then begin to push eastward until we get to the afternoon hours. So spotty showers here and there, even a peak of the sun maybe, but overall breezy conditions with temperatures in the mid to upper 40s we go into this afternoon. You'll start seeing more of a concentrated area of showers or even light rain to the north as we get toward this evening as the next wave kind of rotates and then digs south. That's going to be the trends we go through tonight. More of this light rain, light snow. As you see, it begin to approach probably Eau Claire after midnight. Begins to push southeast towards La Crosse by about 2 or 3. And then expands itself as it pushes south into southern Wisconsin as we go tomorrow morning. Maybe all this won't be necessarily snow. It may be mixed of snow and rain. And given those temperatures you see mid-30s, we won't see much accumulation. At least south southern areas as you get to central and northern Wisconsin, some light accumulation is possible, especially in grassy areas. As we get towards Sunday noon, we'll start seeing all this activity begin to push more into light rain transition over with. But it won't end. Really, we won't see tapering off probably until Sunday late afternoon, evening, you just see one band just east of La Crosse, but other areas start to break up. And then by 9 or 10, it's just light showers, maybe even just drizzle going on. Unfortunately, the winds won't stop Sunday night. They'll continue even in through Monday, and that's what we'll look for, Monday conditions with maybe a chance for rain showers. But I think really it's going to be the Sunday, Sunday night is what we're going to look for most of the rain. Snow-wise, just a trace amounts further south as you go north of I-90, 94, it does pick up where they could pick maybe up to two inches. If we go even further north, we've got a winter weather advisory, Rhinelander up to the north where they could see over two to six inches of accumulation, even more as you get closer to the lake. So if you're traveling in that direction tonight, something to keep in mind of roads will probably be okay, but it will be quite messy. We start off the week cold. If we look ahead with the influences of that low, the good news is once we get to about Wednesday, we're warming up just slightly, maybe a few showers as another week system comes through Thursday, Thursday night. But overall, it should be a much improved with getting maybe up to 70 by next weekend. As you see, look at the temperatures, mid 50s by Tuesday, getting to 60s by both locations by Wednesday. Maybe getting close to 70 or topping that off as we get towards Wednesday, especially in La Crosse. That week system comes through with maybe a shower or two Thursday and Friday. We dip back down into the up low 60s, and then next weekend, at least right now, looks very nice, mid 60s and dry compared to what we're going to have this weekend. Like we keep saying, today is a good day to just stay inside. And today and tomorrow, especially, stay inside. You got Dodgeville with their uh, grilled cheese championship going on right now. That's a good thing to go to if you want something indoors, because we have two of our guys right there that are emceeing the event too this weekend. Well, thank you so much, Greg. One of the commissioners of the Wisconsin Elections Commissions says she'll step down from that role next week. Julie Glancy was first appointed back in 2016 by then Governor Scott Walker. A retired Sheboygan County clerk, she says she wants to pave the way for someone who served as a clerk more recently. She was appointed again last year under Governor Evers. He'll choose her replacement from a list of former Democratic clerks. That person will have to serve the remainder of her term, which runs through 2026. Governor Evers wants every Wisconsin student to be able to get a free breakfast at school lunch, at school for lunch and breakfast. Uh, included in his budget proposal is a plan to bring back a pandemic era free school meal program for all kids permanently. The benefits that were in place during the height of the pandemic expired at the end of last year. Nine other states have adopted similar measures and education officials say by allowing schools to offer free meals, it will only help with their educational futures. Uh, hungry kids just can't learn at the, at the same level that a student who's not struggling with that can. It's sort of a, a no-brainer, but also what a great opportunity to, to make a difference in these kids' lives. Republicans on the state's budget writing committee are expected to strip out many of the provisions from the pro proposal next week before writing their own. It's unclear if their plan will include universal free school meals. People experiencing homelessness with pets not only have to worry about caring for themselves, but also their animals. A nonprofit made that a little bit easier Friday afternoon at Warner Park. Physical exams, vaccines, flea, tick, and heartworm tests, those were the services made available to the pets of people experiencing homelessness. Best of yet, it was all done for free. This pop-up vet clinic is made possible by the Madison chapter of the Street Dog Coalition, a national nonprofit dedicated to providing free medical care to pets of people experiencing or at risk of homelessness. Four clinics are held throughout the year, all at Warner Park. The next one is scheduled for Friday, June 30th. 
To an update now on the last week's loon fallout, two of the injured birds have been released at this time. Last week's cold weather caused several loons to literally fall from the sky. One of them was found in a pile of cow manure. The second loon from Marshville was found in a pond that was too tiny to leave. After a five hour chase and 13 volunteers working together, the loon was finally captured and taken in. These ponds were so small that they were not able to gain enough lift because there was trees around them. So we knew these were not going to get out. They say this year the public has done a great job calling in and reporting down loons. Now the loons are healthy enough to continue their migration journey. And coming up next, a senior prank resulting in citations to the offending students. We'll have that after this break. It's the hy -Vee Red Hot Weekend Sale this Friday through Sunday. hy -Vee Pasta Sauce, just 99 cents. That smart frozen vegetables, just 88 cents. And hy -Vee Yogurt, only 29 cents. Only at hy -Vee. Could you keep it down? Oh, hey, sorry. I can't stop these kids from rocking, but I can help you replace all this. Rock on! With free installation on Felco windows, siding, doors, and roofing, plus no money down, no payments, and no interest for one year. There's never been a better time to upgrade your home. This offer ends Sunday. Hurry. Call now. For quality windows, siding, and doors, call 866 for felco It's time to bring balance to business travel and discover the equilibrium that works for you. At National, you're in control. Skip the counter, choose any car in the aisle, and manage your rental right from the app. So you can mix work with leisure, or leisure with work, giving you the control to find the perfect balance. Go National, go like a pro. Like yeah. The stylish Chevy Equinox RS like, uh, and Chevy Blazer RS. So you don't have to be an influencer to be an influencer. The, crowd go crazy. the RS family of Chevy SUVs, definitely worth a follow. Well-qualified buyers get 1.9% financing on all 2023 Equinox models or get $1,500 cash allowance. Chevrolet, the number one selling brand in Wisconsin. Team, I need a volunteer. We need promotional products. I'm on it. 4imprint makes promotional product success easy. For high quality items, go to 4imprint.com. 4imprint, for certain. Create your perfect room for entertaining, relaxing, and more with patio enclosures. Right now, get 25% off your sunroom. Plus, enjoy exceptional financing. Call today. Patio News 3 Now is always on. Download the Channel 3000 app and get all of the day's top stories and exclusive video right to your phone. The Channel 3000 app. Get it now. Powered by News 3 Now. It's the hy -Vee Red Hot Weekend Sale this Friday through Sunday. hy -Vee Chicken Drumsticks or Thighs, 99 cents a pound. hy -Vee Orange or Apple Juice, 99 cents. And Sweet Celebration Seedless Grapes, $1.38 a pound. Only at hy -Vee. Join me in the 608 weekdays on News 3 Now this morning. Finally this morning, a senior prank at a Chicago prep school ended with a Wisconsin cow on the loose. It all started when Todd Bolter of Winnicani got a call asking about his Craigslist ad selling cattle. Soon four, and guy, four guys showed up with a trailer and $700. However, the cow got loose, leading police in Niles, Illinois on a chase for several hours. That started at 3 in the morning. The students involved in the incident were issued local citations to appear in court. It is said, though, that no animals or people were hurt in the incident. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, that went wrong. <laughs> it happens. Exactly. Well, we got most of the area right now is actually precip free because all the rain is pushed east behind the cold front. But we do have breezy, windy conditions, at least today. The showers won't really develop until about a few hours, probably closer to noon, and then spread eastward. Unfortunately, we do have snow potentially coming tonight for some areas, even accumulating snow. So definitely something to keep in mind of as you work up tomorrow morning. It's definitely going to be a cold morning. Thank you, Greg. Everyone have a great Saturday.